Good morning. Today I'm going to demonstrate a basic exercise, overhead shoulder presses with dumbbells. These have an application for shaping and toning, as well as for functional upper body strength, core stability, and shoulder flexibility and mobility as well. It's very straightforward. I'm gonna step back into full view. You're going to want to select a weight that's heavy enough to be challenging, light enough to be achievable in the scope of good form. I'm gonna show one or two maybe little nuances that if you're already doing these that you might not be doing, which will help enhance the exer exercise a little bit. I'm gonna take a couple of dumbbells. I'm gonna stand with my feet wider than hip width. My weight is going to be on my heels and I'm gonna have a very slight bend in my knees. I'm going to start with the dumbbells outside the line of my shoulder, so they're not in close to my head, they're not way out here. I'm going to start from a position as deep as I'm comfortable going outside the line of my shoulders, and you'll notice my arms, my elbows are flared back, so it's like so, not inside like this, inside like this, but the elbows flared back, as far back as you can bring them. Again, starting from a position as deep as you're comfortable going, because range of motion is the same as flexibility. You're going to exhale and push in a straight line overhead. And you'll notice the dumbbells are a part of the top. I'm not bringing, in, bringing them together because that creates a dead zone where the muscles are under less tension. So you're starting wide. My hands, if you follow the line of my hands, my hands are going in a straight line overhead. Complete stop at the top, take an extra breath or two. Down slowly, about four to five seconds coming down, keeping the elbows flared back. Dead stop at the bottom, take a secondary breath or two here. So it's up overhead, the dumbbells are away from each other, not like so, not like this, but elbows flared back, straight line up, straight line down, dead stop. Again, select a weight that's heavy enough to be challenging, light enough to be achievable in the scope of good form, and this is always worth repeating. Range of motion is the same as flexibility. The deeper you're able to go within the limits of any shoulder pain that you might have, the better mobility you're going to develop and the better flexibility in the shoulders. If you have any questions, hit me up and I'll be back again tomorrow. Thank you.